If you've been trying to get your oily skin under control, man, do I feel ya. Because my own skin oil, sometimes I feel like it should be measured in barrels. And today I'm giving you the very best ingredients to help with oily skin, plus a down and dirty, very quick oily skincare routine, all for you. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about skincare ingredients that are best for oily skin. I should know something about that. I have super oily skin. Now, oily skin, love it or leave it, it is a great gift in the anti-aging department, but not so much if you wear makeup, cosmetics, or you have a propensity to breakouts. Yeah, it can be a real pain in the ass. So if you're spending too much time wiping away the oil or tired of the slick, oh, this video is for you today. Now, if you're new and you don't know who I am, I'm Chris, I'm a skincare expert. And on this channel, we talk about skincare products, obviously skincare ingredients. We also talk about skincare problems, which we solve those. And we try to find you skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet and not do more harm than good. So if this type of content is something that you're very interested in, please subscribe, hit the little notification bell so that you know when my new videos come out each week. Now, all products that I talk about in this video with the ingredients that I'm going to recommend to you will be listed down below in the video description box. So relax, you don't need to write anything down. They will be there for you at the end of the video. Now, the first ingredient that we're gonna talk about today for oily skin is dirt. Yes, dirt, gotcha. Actually, what I'm talking about is clay. Clay as an oil absorbing ingredient is a very wonderful, way to absorb oil naturally from the skin. Now you can find clays in cleansers, you can find clays in masks, you can find clays in shampoos. All are designed to help absorb all that excess oil. Clay has the ability to pull oil from deep within your pores, so it sort of stops the problem before it gets started. And it's, again, it's all natural and usually very well tolerated by all skin types. I guess all skin types tolerate dirt. Now what this means for you is that your skin will have a matte finish rather than an oily finish and your cosmetics will stick or stay in place and set for longer throughout the day. Now some of the products that I like to recommend for this are Dermalogica, it's a brand you probably have heard of. They have an active clay cleanser, it's a very good cleanser. It doesn't overstrip the skin, leaves it clean and hydrated. Now for a mask, and I try many of these out, right now I'm trying out Lehman, which is a turmeric based clay mask. It's awesome. I really love it. There will be a full review coming out on this product. Again, I'll link to that in the video description box. However, a clay mask two to three times a week can really pull oil deeply from the pores and help set you up for a very healthy skin, oil-free environment. Now, a lot of oil that gets on the face actually comes from the scalp area. We do tend to produce a lot more oil because there are heavier, thicker hair follicles. The shampoo that I like to recommend is one that you've probably heard of. It's the El Vive or El Vive, however you want to say it, El Viva. Anyway, it's a shampoo that is made with clays that will give you up to 48 hours of absorption for oil on the scalp. So making sure that you don't have a super oily scalp can also help contribute to less oil on your face and forehead. Next, when it comes to ingredients that really help with oily skin, we want to think about two ingredients that will help minimize oil production because if we can minimize the oil production, we sort of get out ahead of it. So the two ingredients that I often recommend are niacinamide and salicylic acid. Now niacinamide, you've probably heard of that. It's vitamin B3. It's a very good anti-inflammatory skincare ingredient that's in many, many products now. It helps tremendously with pore congestion. It helps minimize the look of your pores and it helps with inflammation and redness. So it's a really great skincare ingredient, as I said. The other one, salicylic acid, you've probably heard about. It's been around for a long time. It too is an anti-inflammatory skincare ingredient, but what it's able to do is it is able to actually dissolve the little tiny microscopic skin cells that are dead that get caught up in the sebum. So it sort of thins out the sebum, dissolves those dead skin cells and helps clear pore congestion at the very deeper level. So it really can help with acne breakouts. It also helps with skin elasticity. These two serums together can really make a big difference. I recommend two. The Ordinary brand has niacinamide, of course, that you guys have seen me talk or heard me talk about on the channel many times. And then they also have a salicylic acid in squalane. So two very good ingredients to help minimize pore congestion, minimize oil production and help smooth out your skin. Okay, this next ingredient is gonna come as a bit of a surprise to some of you, but it's actually an oil. Yes, 
an oil, more oil for the skin, and that is grapeseed oil. And there's a couple of really important reasons why we like to use a grapeseed oil on oily skin. And the first of those is that it triggers the skin to tell it to produce less of its own oil. So this oil, grapeseed oil, is a fatty oil, but it's easily absorbed because it's plant derived. It's absorbed into the skin, does not leave any sort of greasiness or oiliness on the skin surface, so you don't have that extra shine from it. And of course, it also helps with pore congestion and it is very anti-inflammatory. So pure grapeseed oil is a very, very good product. One that I recommend, and there are many of these, as long as it's 100% pure, you're good. But Maple Holistics has 100% pure grapeseed oil, very inexpensive, and you can find it online. Again, that link too will be in the video description box. Okay, even though you may have oily skin, a lot of people think it's okay to skip moisturizer, or actually they think that using a moisturizer is gonna to contribute to the oil in their skin. And yes, if it's oil-based, that would be true. However, water-based hyaluronic acid or squalene moisturizers are exceptionally good for oily skin, and here's why. These are two hydrating enzymes the skin creates already. Again, hyaluronic acid and squalene. And their job is to take water and place it down in the skin surface for your cells to keep them healthy and replicating at a happy, healthy rate. So oil that you produce actually protects your skin. Think of it as ceramides as a barrier, but you do need hydration and that comes in the form of H2O and these two ingredients help a lot. For oily skin, I always recommend a hyaluronic acid moisturizer. Water gel cream is better. I use Neutrogena's Hydro Boost. You guys that follow me on the channel know I talk about this product all the time. That is my hyaluronic acid step in my skincare routine. Now, hyaluronic acid as a molecule itself can attract and hold a thousand times its weight in moisture. So imagine what that can do for hydrating your skin. And again, hydrated skin doesn't produce as much oil and looks and is really healthier. Next, it's a powerhouse ingredient that seems to be perfectly designed for oily skin and that's retinol. Yes, the age-defying, age-reversing retinol. The reason retinol is such an excellent product for oily skin is it helps speed up that cellular turnover. It does also help decongest pores. And because of the effect that it has on the structure of your skin, it does trigger their skin to produce less oil over time. So not only does it give you anti-aging benefits of wrinkle reduction and sun damage, it also really does help with the extra oiliness and the propensity for acne breakouts. The interesting thing is for a lot of people with drier skin or sensitive skin types, Retinols can be a bit of a problem that can be irritating. But those of us who have oilier skin are actually able to receive the retinol better with less irritation. So we get all those benefits without any of the redness, flaking, dryness that can happen on other skin types. Now, if you're new to retinol or you want to try out the mildest form of that, The Ordinary has a Gran Active 2% retinol in squalane, which is that enzyme I just talked about that your skin makes already. So it makes this retinol very easy to be received by the skin, really of all skin types. So if you're new to retinol, this is a really good place to start and it's super inexpensive. Okay, so now let's talk quickly about a skincare routine for oily skin, just for you. First, we wanna use a cleanser, AM and PM, that's clay-based, like the one that I recommended, the Dermalogica cleanser is fine, or any that you can find that you like better or best will work, but you want to cleanse your skin in the morning and the evening. Now for clay mask, you want to use those two to three times a week so that you pull oil deeper from the pores. You don't want to use them every day because then that can be over drying. We don't want to turn the skin's oil reserves on. We want to minimize them, but a clay mask, again, two to three times a week can help really clarify your skin and keep oil production at a minimum. Next, we would want to apply our serums of niacinamide, or salicylic acid or both. That gives those a chance to get down into the pore and be absorbed, so you would use these next. Next, we wanna apply our grapeseed oil very lightly to the skin and allow it to have a few minutes to absorb, which is again going to help hydrate your skin and keep it from producing any extra oil. Then after we've given the grapeseed oil a few minutes to totally absorb, we wanna do our hydration step with hyaluronic acid or water gel cream. There are again, many brands out there. I just mentioned one that I like but you wanna make sure that it is an oil-free moisturizer, and that again is going to super hydrate the skin, keep it from producing more oil, and it's also gonna make your skin look and have that matte, healthy finish. Then of course, if it's during the day, you wanna use 
an oil-free sunscreen of an SPF 15 or higher. And at night you wanna apply your retinol and you guys that follow me know I talk about this all the time so you can mouth the words as I say it. We wanna use retinols at night because one that can make your skin sun sensitive because of the cellular turnover that happens. And they also work better at night because UVA and UVB light breaks retinols down on the skin during the day, making them somewhat, okay, almost always, okay, always much less effective. Okay, so a super simple oil stopping skincare routine that will work really well for you. I hope this video was helpful in understanding what kind of ingredients in skincare to look for that are best for your oily skin and what products that I would recommend as an esthetician for you to use. If the video was helpful, please be sure and give it a like and comment below and let me know. Also be sure to watch my videos that are coming up next so that you learn how to perfect your own skincare routine, get your best looking skin ever. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know how much I love and appreciate you. Stay beautiful and I'll see you over on the next video.